My initial impression of iOS 7 as I was using the beta, even though it's buggy, I expect that from a beta, was my initial impression I just didn't like iOS 7. I didn't like the flatness. I didn't like the way certain things look, like the calendar. I still don't like the way the calendar looks. But there's so much good going on here that it really outweighs the bad. As I used it more and more, I understood what Apple was doing. They brought in this command center, and as you can see, underneath is this nice transparency and easy access to everything. When I went back to using iOS 6, I actually found that it was counterintuitive now that I didn't have any of these quick features. Yes, you could install those with jailbreaks and things like that, but that was something I just didn't want to do. I wanted it to be the pure experience of iOS at its core. With this we've got these really nice transparencies, everything flows nicely, everything's nice and smooth. Folders have changed, as you can see here. You can actually have multiple pages of folders now, and this zoom in and out I really have gotten to like. I've heard some people don't like it, but that's really more of a matter of opinion. As you can see the dock down here at the bottom kind of has the transparent color of whatever's in the background and that changes with whatever you're using. If you're in the phone dialer you can see here as I type whatever colors in the background kind of reflects and you can see it's changing slightly as I'm moving down. It's really nice and carries on to everything. There are certain colors I personally am not crazy about such as this green from messages but the overall flattened look really has grown on me and I like it a lot with the exception of maybe settings where everything is super flat and reminds me a lot of Windows Phone 7 for whatever reason. The overall experience of iOS 7 though has been great. Battery life seems to somewhat have improved, maybe about the same for some people, but it seemed to improve a little bit for me, but all of these extra features are really nice. Music has changed quite a bit. You can see they've added the colors and they've actually copied from Zune, their colors it would appear anyway, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. That was a great uh, application on Windows side. So you can see they've changed things. It's really nice. You can go back and everything's just kind of flattened. You can see if I rotate into landscape, everything's changed. Cover flow has kind of gone away and now we have all of the covers and somewhat well organized, others aren't. But if I go into a specific album art here, we'll just scroll through, and when I want to tap on something uh, like this album here, we can zoom in and play the songs. This works really well in a car. It's very easy to tap on the songs, open it, and hit play if you have an interface that allows you to do that. Really makes it intuitive and nice. I didn't like it at first, but it's really grown on me. One of the newer features is iTunes Radio, and I actually like it. I've made quite a few playlists, or five or six of them anyway, and you can tap on them and they'll give you songs like them. If I play Skrillex Radio, tap on this, it gives me a song. I can either like it or go forward, much like Pandora, and it's all built in, and then I can buy the song up here. You can't listen to specific songs. You can't search specific songs and listen to those directly. You can listen to those for 90 seconds within iTunes, but not in the radio. You can see notifications are very similar. They pop up the same way. Apps auto-update now. Everything seems to be familiar, but it's different. There are definitely things I don't like, like the Notes app. I just don't like this color. I don't like what they've done here. And they've removed the lines, and I kind of like that. But that's just my personal preference. Everyone I've talked to that's used iOS 7, at least in its beta form, really like it. Love the transparency on the keyboard. And I think you're going to see design go in that direction for many other applications once they start and use those uh, different design elements. If I go to Zolotech here... The browser is nice and quick, and as I scroll, the address bar disappears and then comes back as I scroll down. It's really nice, has the transparent effect through the background, and everything just kind of gets out of your way. You do have to learn some of these new symbols across Safari, and that's not too big of a deal. And then you have multiple windows where you can add a multiple window this way, and tap and move, slide them around, and then if I don't want to use them, I slide them off the screen. Multitasking is similar that way. If I double tap, this reminds us a lot of WebOS on the Palm Pre. We can slide these off the screen, whatever we're not using. Really intuitive, really simple, and pretty much the best way to do multitasking with the exception of not being able to close them all at once. The nice thing about iOS 7 is it brings a freshness to iOS but allows you to use all of those apps you love and are familiar with. 
for the most part, people will love iOS 7. There will be some that don't like its design direction. I didn't initially, but I grew to love it. And there will be plenty that grow to love it. There'll be some that still hate it, but I think the majority like it to begin with, at least from the first impressions of the people I get when I ask them. I'd love to hear what you have to say about iOS 7. Please place those in the comments below. Let me know what you think after you've used it for a few days. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.